The third element of actually is uh, of, of similarity is the unity of expectations. People learned over the last few decades to to expect the same thing that uh, a middle class person in uh, the United States expects. You know the why, You know what's the American dream? Is it the house and white picket fence and so on? The same essence of that dream is also in the mind of Chinese citizen, is also in the mind of Syrian citizen, is also in the mind of South Sudanese citizen, is also in the mind of Iranian citizens. We need the ability, it may not be necessarily the white picket fence, but it's the ability to own something. It's the ability to, to have your space. It's, ab uh, it's the ability to, to, to hold your government accountable. It's the ability to, to, uh, to, to, to move up in life. Uh, uh, you know, these are the kind of things that are that are denied us in our current systems. And for uh, uh, after decades of exposure, I think to the other side of the equation, to the uh, 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 you know demonized West. In that sense, we've learned that these things are actually what also we want, and why can't we have them? They're good things. They're they're they stem out of this basic uh, concept. They are the they are the translation. Uh, of the Bill of Rights. They are the translation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So, in a sense, this kind of unity is, uh, you know, you can see it. And that's why, from the 1990s, I, I knew that there was a revolution coming, and many people like me knew that we are heading towards revolution, because our systems cannot uh, guarantee this kind of expectations to people.